And probably the, the most uh, common coalescer that I see in industry as I go around and uh, see what's out there is a, a, uh, um, a corrugated, uh, irregular shaped um, coalescer plate pack system. Here's a, here's a plate on a higher end one. And what they do is they take an irregular shaped plate like this and they actually um, stack them up and either heat seal them or glue them into place. And what you end up with is, if I can pick one of these up, you end up with a, a plate pack bundle similar to this. Okay? Now, one of the issues that we find with this kind of design is if you look carefully, there's lots of nooks and crannies throughout the plate. And these plates are stacked up and as the wastewater flows through and the solids try and fall out, there's places for the solids to lodge. Now when the solids start to lodge here, they start to build up and foul. So if you have a plate pack at a 55, 65 degree angle and you have a flat plate design at the same angle, you can see that there are no nooks and crannies on a flat plate design, whereas on this kind of a setup, you have some flatter areas for solids to settle. We don't want the solids to settle here because that's what causes the problems in the packs. The other issue with this kind of thing is it is plastic. They're heat sealed or glued. And as solids enter this kind of a pack, you, we end up with problems with the, with the weight of the solids wrecking the pack. The packs disintegrate and fall apart. The other issue that we have is as you're cleaning the plate packs, you have a, a, a high pressure nozzle shooting water out to clean. And the, uh, the, the velocity only goes a few inches into the pack. So it's very hard to clean the center of that kind of a pack. Um, it is, uh, they're fairly inexpensive packs to put in, but the, the low cost up front ends up costing a lot more later on.